Paul Ryan released an Easter message to his Twitter followers. Uh, it was really, really cringeworthy, so I wanted to watch with you guys and make fun of it. One of the most important messages that Christianity has brought to the world is one of hope. In today's world, that may sound a little naive. We're surrounded by stories of war, poverty, disease, addiction, loneliness, and failure to name a few. Our work to try and eradicate these social ills certainly has its ups and its downs. It's never over. But today, on Easter Sunday, we are reminded that the suffering isn't the whole story. We believe that there is a different ending for all of us. Diverse though we may be, Christians around the world are united in our shared belief that Jesus rose from the dead. Yes, we will struggle. But after our struggle, there is always redemption. And there is always hope. Today, I wish you and your loved ones a blessed Easter. He's such a tool, I can't take it. <laughs> he's, he's like the quintessential, standard, generic, asshole politician. Like, everything about it, the way he talks, his rhythm, his cadence, what he's saying. I mean, he's like... There are a lot of bad things that happen in the world. There's wars that I voted for. There's poverty, which I kind of support legislation that pushes more people into it. There's all these bad things. I'm against those bad things. And I'm for good things. Like Tom Perez. Oh, we're against... I just want everybody to know here, we're Democrats. We're for good things. We're against bad things. Tom, do you support single payer? I just, uh, anyway, moving on. <laughs> this is Paul Ryan. Uh, a lot, there's a lot of bad things happening in the world. And I want everybody to know that we're, we're here to do good things, and Jesus rose from the dead. <laughs> so it's bullshit, 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 metaphysical bullshit. <laughs> that, was, that was the general layout that we were dealing with there. Dude, weren't you just the guy who was, uh, like, celebrating kicking people off Medicaid? He said he's been dreaming of it since college or something. The bill that he was the primary author of, or at least his staff was, uh, it made it so 53 million people were uninsured. His healthcare bill. <laughs> and he's like, there's poverty, you know, and all these bad problems in the world. Yeah, ones you're creating. <laughs> what a joke he is, man. And I can't, like, the casual, I always, whenever I hear a U.S. politician and somebody who's Christian, and I think Paul Ryan's just, you know, faking it more than anything. He's not a true Kool-Aid drinker. There are true religious Kool-Aid drinkers and fundamentalists in the government. I think Pence is that. But he's just mimicking it, Paul Ryan. But whenever I hear politicians say shit like that, like, Christians around the world, we're diverse, but we all can believe in one main thing. Jesus rose from the dead. I always think, like, take out our own culture and our context and the fact that we live in a country where most of the people are Christian and the fact that we're just kind of numb to how goofy they can be and just put in any other religious argument there. Like, if this was in Iran and it was a Muslim politician giving one of these things for one of their holidays and he says, what unites us all is one thing, that Muhammad... Uh, you know, flew to heaven on a winged donkey. We'd all be like, <laughs> Look at how stupid they are! <laughs> so primitive! But Paul Ryan does it with Jesus rising from the dead. You got a zombie Jew carpenter in his religion, and we're all like, yeah, Jesus rose from the dead. And what the fuck, the bunny? Where'd the, the bunny comes from, again, a fucking ancient pag pagan tradition. Just like the Christmas tree, it's a tree. Uh, it's from a pagan tradition. We kind of jacked it. But, I mean, how do people not realize how shamelessly made up all this is? Like, yeah, we got a furry bunny and we got colorful eggs that you find. Right? That's in the Bible. Uh, it says in, uh, Numbers 13, uh, to, lines 13 to 14, Thou shalt findeth my eggeth, my colorful eggeth, and worship thine furry bunny. <laughs> it's not... It's just so made up, but you got people like Paul Ryan, he exploits it to try to get votes. He knows, hey, a lot of my voters are Christian, so let me... Uh, yes, I believe that Jesus rose from the dead, and again, I am against bad things. I don't like poverty. Anyway, did we pass that bill that cuts Medicaid $880 billion yet? I love that bill. <laughs>